Hi everyone. So it is takeaway night. So I What are you takeaway night? You have a, like a schedule plan. Didn't you just tell me in the other video that you ordered takeout like twice in a row? What do you mean night? Like let's be honest, takeaway week. Takeaway week. Stay so good. And then for I changed my curry last time. Why and is she just like spawning food. Like the fact that she keeps coming out of nowhere with more food. Like I think this is it. And then she brings more in. <laughs> Hi everyone, so tonight I have got a takeaway. Now, I know that I did have a takeaway last night and a lot of people think, you know, that you can't have two takeaways in a night because I am a bigger person. At this point, yes, I do. Yes, I do know what the comments will be. Why should I have to hide if I have a takeaway twice in a row? Yes, I'm a bigger girl, but it's my life and I do not eat like this 24 seven. Although if I did, who has the right to comment on it? Your mom, your boyfriend, you should have a problem with it. Given the fact that you're literally obese, it's okay to have fast food. And I'm not one of these people that's gonna like hate on you for eating fast food, it's completely fine. But the issue I often find is that you're doing it too often. And if you're justifying it with, it's my life, I can do whatever I want. Would you take that same, like same sentiment? If somebody that had a crack addiction, somebody that was addicted to heroin, that was in the back rooms, huffing and puffing their heroin, their heroin dust into another man's butt cheeks, would you say that same thing to them if they hit you with the, I can do heroin, it's my life. Why does it matter? I don't care, why does it matter to you so much? Because, it's not just your life. You have people around you that are relying on you, people that need you to live in a somewhat healthy stance so that way you can at least operate in a very sustainable way. And they are there are people around you. You may not see that, but they're 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 looking at you as a responsible person and hopefully you can still be there for them without being unhealthy. Like don't you think this is it's it's a negative thing any way you look at it. But you go girl, hashtag slay queen edges, you know? That's Beautiful. Go ahead. Hashtag slay queen edges. Eat your food. But I got one. I didn't go to the pantomime today because my voice is gone. By the way, this isn't pee, okay? This is like, I think, um, water? What is this? It's an orange flavored drink, okay? It's just it's just dust that you put into water. It's not pee. Um, and I just felt really hot and stuffed before, so I didn't want to... A full Coke. A full Coke, man. A full Coke in the sense of you're drinking something with tons and tons of sugar and... You know, people often, whenever I see somebody drinking Coca-Cola, which is fine. I think Coca-Cola is probably the best in terms of sodas, in my opinion. I don't think there's any soda that even comes close, close to Coca-Cola. But you got to also understand that you're – I think the can of Coca-Cola is like 140, 150 calories, which is doing what for you? Nothing. It's not giving you anything at all. Sometimes people will go, oh, but it's giving me caffeine. It's giving you caffeine, huh? It's giving you caffeine. This right here that I'm drinking out of is 200 – milligrams of caffeine and it's 10 calories and it's in my water which is good for me because now i'm gonna take that water i'm gonna use it in my body and i'm gonna and my body's gonna utilize it and i'm gonna pee it out later grant it yes but i'm getting almost nothing out of this in terms of calories for you though i don't know how many ca how many how many grams of ca uh, milligrams of caffeine are you getting out of a coca-cola i got a can i don't know, like 30 60 ca 60 milligrams nothing and you're getting like 140 calories out of that which is bullshit you drink just regular water, and if you want flavoring and you want something, a lot of people think that water is like some bitch shit, and they go, oh man, water doesn't taste like anything. You're dumb. If you think that water doesn't taste like anything, you're stupid. And then also, it's not about water tasting like anything. You can always flavor it if you want to. It's fine. I flavor my water, but I also have other waters that are unflavored. But you can get flavored water, and then also, like I just said, you can get water packets that you just pour in that flavor the water that add maybe five to 10 calories, which is nothing in comparison to drinking an entire can of Coca-Cola for like 140, 150 calories. And I know you're gonna drink two, three, four, five of them a day. And you're probably chronically dehydrated in general because this is probably all you're drinking for the day in general. So anyway, dude, it's just, you know, stop it. You're making me upset. Just make myself poorly by going out in the cold. So I've got an Indian, so I've got a Coke. Okay. And um, I got, just a normal poppadom. This is I've ordered from. I haven't ordered from before, but they do like spiced poppadoms. I've never seen before. So it's just a meal for one tonight. Um, because of my mom. I got a chapati. I love chapatis. Okay, I don't know what that is. 
And then I went for something different. I went for garlic butter chicken. Garlic. It's like chicken tikka. And Man, they put it in like a Tupperware, dude. That's how you know it's good shit. Why did? Why do you pronounce it like I got? I got an Indian. Like, what do you mean you got an Indian, dude? It sounds like you're like you're talking about an individual. Like, I got an Indian guy. Nobody here in America pronounces it like that. Like, if you're going to get Indian food, you go. I'm gonna go pick up some Indian food. Nobody says I got an Indian or I got an. I got a Chinese or I got a like what do you what do you say when you're getting some soul food? I got a black? What do you what do you say there? Huh? What what do you say? Huh? What do you what do you say if you're going to get some like quality, well seasoned, good, wholesome soul food? I got a black? Is that what you say? Racist man. Absolutely fucking racist, man. I like butter sauce and looks really good. Look at that there. Yeah, look. Oh, Indian food gets a bad reputation, dude. A lot of people tell you that you'll get like diarrhea or your mouth will burn up or something like that or i've seen listen i think there's differences between food categories depending on where you live here in america if you get indian food it's pretty like it's pretty good but i've seen indian guys making food authentically in india and they've cut food with their toenails or like i saw one dude he was just making the food when there was flies all around him didn't give a fuck i've heard the worst horror stories you could possibly think of of people going to india and eating the street food and then like dying the next day on the toilet because like there's no quality control there people are just like scratching their asses beaten off i mean honestly speaking if if you're going to india if the dude serving you the food isn't serving it to you on his penis then it's probably not real authentic Indian food. Like you should automatically expect that if you're getting this food, he's probably stirred the pot with his dick, right? Or he's probably dipping his toenails in there a little bit, giving it a little bit of that Indian guy seasoning or whatever. I don't know why it's like that in India, dude. It's not, you know, here, here where I live, right? You'll have a few people that are selling street food and I would never do it. If you ever come to Boston and you're going, I want to try the local food. I want to, I want to like, oh, look at this guy selling right hot dogs. Hot dogs got a whole bunch of stuff. Those hot dogs have been sitting there for 10 hours, more than 10 hours probably. He's probably cooking from the day before. They're not good quality. And you're going to eat that shit. And I guarantee you, it's going to taste good in your mouth for about 30, 35 minutes. And then your stomach's going to realize what you did to it. And it's going to disagree with you because it was, it was disrespectful to the palate. And then you're going to probably have to use the bathroom right after that because that food, that guy, he don't wash his hands. He's been sitting there for all day. And he's probably got a piss jar because like, let's be honest here for a second. You're not, if you're in the middle of a park and you're like a guy selling food, you're not peeing anywhere besides that cart. You're not going to leave your, you're not going to like take your cart to like the McDonald's outside the McDonald's and be like, Hey, can you watch my food cart while I go inside and take a fucking fat shit? No, you're not doing that. So anything that you're doing, you know, I feel like that's a good question. These guys are most definitely pissing in the truck, right? Like the little cart. You're probably just sitting there, getting real close, looking around, making sure that nobody sees, and then just, oh, just peeing right there in a bottle. God, you might be peeing on the floor, which is probably more sanitary than peeing in a bottle. And then you pee in a bottle and just fucking toss it. Just throw it off to the side. That's probably what's happening. And then think about this, right? That guy just peed in a bottle. He's grasping dick, and now he's grasping your hot dog. And he's, I mean, it is what it is. You're gay. You're taking, you're taking this, this, this guy's meat in your mouth, and you're taking this guy's meat in your mouth. Got rice as well. Um, yeah, so it was a pantomime in New Brighton that all my family what the fuck is that? So I'm a little bit gutted, but I was feeling really, really rough um, today. Okay. So I thought, do you know what? It's best not to risk because, as silly as it sounds, why like she out of breath? Why, what is up with her respiratory issues, man? It seems like she, you know, Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. I used to love that show a lot when I was a kid, but Stevie, he would go, hey. Malcolm, can we play that video game? It's like that. Like, why is she so out of breath from, what is she doing? Like, scooping out some rice into a tray, into a bowl? Why are you, what is, this should be like red flags, you know? Like, I shouldn't have to watch this video and go, what is going on with you? Like, do you have a, an underlying issue? Like, a, a core mobility issue? Like, what's going on here? Why are you so out of breath from, Fucking shovel out rice. New Brighton is like near the beach, obviously on the beach. So um, I thought, well, that's a lot of rice. Yeah, no shit. Um, I thought, you know what? It's not even worth like risking it. Like being really poorly in the week. So, oh, it smells amazing. Oh, look at that, guys. So it's garlic butter, butter chicken with chicken tikka pieces. Cool. Like you can see the chicken tikka pieces. Ugh. 
Never had this place, but it looks kind of lumpy. Just really, really good. Like expired milk almost, or kind of like expired yogurt. You know? I remember one time when I was like, I remember one time when I was like maybe 14 or 15 years old, and I was playing on old school Call of Duty, and I had a friend and this Muslim guy friend that I know, and I had the mic on, and this dude was like, "Yo, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna get a snack, right?" He came back, and he's. I was like, "What you get?" He's like, "Oh yeah." I got some yogurt. I was like, oh, okay. And then like on the mic, I heard like, <laughs> like crunching. And I was like, what, what the fuck is that? And he was like, yeah, I'm just bodying this yogurt right now so we can get into the game before we get into the game. And I was like, you're eating yogurt? He was like, yeah. I was like, why is it crunchy? And he was like, oh, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just the way it is, I guess. I don't know. And like, I swear 10 minutes later, that dude was bubble gutting up. Because he ate crunchy fucking yogurt. It wasn't even, it was like the Orcos yogurt or whatever. And I remember recently he had told me that it was expired. Like he, he didn't, you know, like sometimes I have an issue with keeping yogurt in my fridge for a little bit too long. Because I just think that it's yogurt. I'm going to eat it whenever. But it does expire. It does become crunchy. You got flakes in your yogurt. It's not a good thing. So he was eating crunchy flaky yogurt and he he body slammed that toilet probably right after that shit i mean this man had this the man that i'm talking about has always had bowel problems i mean this is the dude that literally called me one day it was like yo david listen bro i haven't i haven't literally I, i'm not gonna lie i haven't took a shit in four weeks now granted it, when he didn't take a shit for a week it was normal because he would do this like he would not take a shit for a week so that following week when he did dump ass, he would get on a scale right after and lose like 20, 30 pounds. I'm like, yo, bro, this is crazy, bro. I just saw the number on a scale go, go down like insane, dude. I'm doing it big, David. I'm doing it big. I'm losing this weight. You watch next next year, I'm be I'm be abbed up, be beefed up, big, big, beefy Arabian man. And I understand that's not really like weight loss technically, but he would recreationally not take shits for a week. But then he called me. He said he hadn't taken a shit for an entire four weeks. And he would just have that, you know, he would always have issues like that. I remember one day he had told me that, uh, he was like, girl, hold up, bro. Um, we got to pull over for a second. He, we pulled over and that dude was just rubbing his eye. And I was like, what's good? He was like, yeah, my eye just stopped working for a minute. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean your eye stopped working for a minute? You ever meet people that just kind of have issues and you think that these issues should be adjusted or like at least addressed? But for them, it's just like a normal thing. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of like somebody that's going to work and they come to work and you're like, how was the commute to work today? And it's like, ah, it's fine. And then you check the news and you find out this guy was like fighting Godzilla or some shit like that. And you're like, bro, isn't that you on the fucking news? Did you just like fight Godzilla? Like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. What do you mean you forgot about that? You fucking fighting Godzilla. Like some people just have different metrics by which they tell you what problems are and what are not problems. And they just gloss over shit. Like you just told me straight. I was like, yeah, my eye stops working sometimes and i'm just thinking like bro it's not like it's not like you're plugging in like an hdmi in the back of a, a tv and the plug like comes undone you just plug it back in that's not how it fucking that's not how your eyes supposed to work it should just be like you know it shouldn't work like that but anyway so i've got that some reuse i wonder that. you could probably reuse that yeah i mean it's probably a good idea to reuse it as well yeah so let's go and talk in. Okay, so let's um, try it out. Nice teeth. Good teeth. Our face is really red, though. Probably high blood pressure. Like, if your face is, like, really red like this, dude. I mean, maybe she has, like, uh, what is that, like, disease on your face or whatever? Like, the, the tomato disease where your face turns really red or whatever? Or maybe she's just, like, anxious. I don't know. I get red cheeks in the wintertime. And when I'm under a lot of stress, maybe my, my cheeks get a little bit red. I'll get a little bit flabbergasted or whatever. But um, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. She's out of breath. Her face is fucking red, dude. Larry Tomato red face. And I, you know what I'm saying? And she's eating an Indian. I don't know. It's just, you know what? Saying that out loud, I really feel like it's not. it should not be said. I'm eating an Indian right now. Like, what are you fucking talking about, dude? There's only a few cases where you can say that. It's either a sexual encounter or you're a zombie. Oh, that's so different. Man, you, you guys in the UK are fucking weird, man. I see you guys eating beans on toast, and then you guys, like, hey, whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise so on everything. Poorly because I went out last night. I felt, like, a little bit rough yesterday day, so I think it has been coming. You guys got a mm. problem with alcohol, too. I, too many times. Too many times I see people saying, like, oh, last night I came back from the pub. or Last night I came back from the pub, and it was crazy. Let me tell you. I came back. I drank like 15 Guinnesses, 
Mate, it was insane. I went to the bathroom. I sat down on the toilet. Wouldn't you know, there was a man already on the toilet. He had an erection. I didn't even see it. Anyway, so I lost my virginity. I got up. I puked. And then I went home. And then I ordered an Indian from this takeout place down the street. It's like, I always hear that. I always hear, like, you guys are always constantly drunk. You, and then the next day, you guys are always hungover. It's like a passive ability at this point for people from the UK. It's like, you guys, even if you don't drink the night before, always when you wake up that same day, it's like, oh, man, I'm hungover. Oh, fuck. What am I going to do? I guess I'll just drink this mayonnaise. That's what I fucking hear from you guys. What is up with you guys and mayonnaise? That's an issue. I'm really enjoying that curry taste. Now I'm going to try some of the chicken tikka. I want to know who's watching this for the review. Like, is anybody is anybody watching this and going like, oh man, I really want to go to that Indian place and get that Indian in my mouth. I really need that Indian in my mouth because that Indian sounds real good right now. No, is anybody watching this for that? I'm, I, would, I would struggle to find somebody I feel like. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Oh, that's lovely. The sauce it's is lovely. Honestly, amazing, guys. But... Because the dark spots around the fingers too. You saw that. It's honestly amazing, guys. You see the dark spots around the fingers? What does it look like? You've been mining all day, man. Is what's up with that? You guys see it? What is up with that? Why are her fingers like so dark on the ends there? That's concerning well, to me. I hope you've all had a great weekend and Thank you. a lovely Sunday, and I love you all. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. Bye, guys. Love you too. I've been tan on later, so I'm gonna wash it all in the morning because I'm going to Champs tomorrow. See, this our girl really loves that Coca Cola. Can somebody tell me here in the in the UK is it uh, the same calories as it is here in America? I believe a Coca Cola can is about 140, 150 calories. So excited! Um, but tonight we have got chippy tea. So damn, dude. I have... I, I, you can be excited for your food, but I don't know how many times I heard this girl say that. Like, oh, it's it's good food, so you know I'm excited to eat it. I don't know. I wouldn't use that one. Got. Let me show you. It's a bit. Greasy. It's greased up. It Man, that I've shit got... is grease. That shit looks like Steve Buscemi's armpit. Hot, 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 hot. Battered sausage. Okay. And then... That's all you got out of that big-ass box, dude? What the fuck? That shit looks like there's more in there. Hot, 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 hot. Battered sausage. And then there, some... Chips. Let me put my chips out here. Why they wrap it like I that? I love this chip here as well. So warm. That wrapper just don't seem efficient at all. Then I'm literally looking at 20% of it on the on the surface, on the actual wrapper itself. That shit don't seem. Where are you? Where are you right now? Is this like a bathroom? Are you in like a public? Is this like a locker room? Why are you? What is this? Your house? What is this? Why is this, what is this right here on your wall? Do I have one of those? I don't think so. What is that? Okay. But yeah, um, Paige is excited and everything for okay. tomorrow. That's too hot, I'm gonna need a fork. <laughs> it's really important to be a human and have the ability to use tools. Sometimes people are really, really persistent though and they will continuously grab onto hot things over and over again. Like for me instance, I'll do that shit. If I'm taking something out of a hot pan, I'm like, I got it, it's only like four things. Like, ah, 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 okay, next one, ah, ah, ah. And it always gets worse and worse and worse because like your the, dur the durability of your hands diminishes after that first one, right? So like the first one, you got 100% durability, grab it onto a hot thing. And then when you go back in, you got like 75%, but it diminishes further. So like that 75% is going down to like 33. And then you have 0% and then you your hand falls off or I don't know what it, I never got to that that 0%. We always have such a good weekend. It's so fun. It, I'm not even in the picture then. It's so fun. Um, You're fucking it up. It really is. And I've got some fruity curry, which I just need a little bit. And I have cold can of Coke, so that is everything. Coke there Coke? it is. What did she say? And I have cold can of Coke, so that is What is a coconut Coke? Is that real? What is that? I've never heard of a coconut Coke. That just looks like a regular Coke. There it is. I love a chippy tea sometimes. It reminds me of like my nan and granddad. Always used to have chippy whenever we'd go anywhere with them. She has a beautiful hairline, thick beautiful eyebrows man i don't see eyelashes but that can be solved you can get the spider legs right a lot of women install 
spider leg lashes. That's what I call them. I call them spider legs because that's what they are, realistically. Bro, her hairline is fucking perfect, okay? She has like a 12-year-old boy's fore, fore, fucking forehead hairline. Look at this. Look at this, dude. This is insane. This hairline is like be-all, end-all. This is the kind of hairline you want for the rest of your life. Mm. And I've really been loving like battered sausages lately. Butter sausages. Ooh, it's crunchy. Well what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a sausage, right? It's just a deep fried sausage, right? What is your diet? Is it like 95% everything is just deep fried? The fries? Oh, she had the curry. Uh, or not the curry. Sorry, she had the Indian. The Indian, whatever the fuck that shit was. So, I mean, most of this shit is pretty much terrible. Though. I feel bad. Be Man, Becky is like Hi, everyone. terrible so diet, it's dude. Night, so, I am staying at... It's what night? I'm sorry? Hi everyone, so it is takeaway night, so I- What are you, takeaway night? You have a, like a schedule plan? Didn't you just tell me in the other video that you ordered takeout like twice in a row? What do you mean night? Like, let's be honest, takeaway week, takeaway week. I'm staying at um, my sister's looking after the kids, Sam. Why does it matter? You know, I, I hear this excuse where it's like, oh, I had to get takeaway because I'm in a new place and I don't know how to cook or, you know, there's no oven or anything like that. And that's okay. If you're in a new area, you're out to eat, fine. But if you're going to your sister's house, does she not have a fucking oven? I'm pretty sure I see something back there. Some kind of uh, some kind of equipment, some kind of something that you can use to cook. She don't have any nothing in the fridge to cook up, nothing in the freezer. You couldn't go to the grocery store real quick, spend like a quarter of whatever you were gonna spend on this takeaway. And look, look, fucking look at you got me saying takeaway. It's takeout. It's takeout. You could have easily cooked something, but instead you got the takeaway, dude. What, what, what do we got tonight? Huh? We got an Indian. We got a black. We got a a Chinese? What do we got? Me and Paige got a takeaway. Now, yeah. what is this wrapper? You guys don't have tinfoil over there? I know what I got. Let's see if this is my one. Big as fuck. Even mine or Paige, this is one. This is mine. I can feel the naan bread. The biggest one. Not the naan bread. The pita bread. So I got a combo kebab. Oh, look at that. What is a kebab? What is that one? What is that, like uh, Indonesian or something? Chicken and donna meat. And obviously oh, yeah. you got your naan bread. Um, Paige got... <laughs> Paige got some chicken nugs and chips. Why would you ever, if you're going out to eat and you're sitting there and you're thinking about getting chicken nuggets and fries, what, you know, I, f I really, real deal feel like you failed because you could get anything else, right? You're going out to eat. Why the fuck are you getting chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets? The lowest of the low? It's not even real chicken. You know that, right? That's like the beak. That's like the beak and like the foot of the of the chicken. You, you get like the foreskin of the chicken right now. And you're, you're spending all this money on what? It's not even real. Like it's just ground up whatever they found on the floor. You know, like the residue of all the stuff that they didn't want to eat. And they just ground it up. Threw it in a thing, a little bit of seasoning powder in there, and they deep fried it. They coated it in some batter, and then they deep fried that shit. You could easily just go to the grocery store. I feel like a lot of these people's lives could be improved if they just did that. Go to the grocery store. Go to the grocery store. Go down the frozen food section, okay? It's at the very end in a big red bag. You can buy that whole big red bag for about 10 bucks. All right, you're good. You could probably eat that for like four days. Eat that, you get like 20 out, whatever the fuck you want. I don't know how many you got in there. Get 20 out, bake them in the air fryer. I know you got a fucking air fryer. Throw it in the air fryer, throw a little fries in there. You're good. How much is that? Maybe like $3 in total. How much was this? 20, 15, 20 bucks for this shit? You failed. You fucking failed. You ordering some deluxe chicken foreskin? Chicken nuggets and chips. Oh my God, there must be chicken nuggets like under the chips. And then I got some chips. Damn, bro, this ain't big enough for you? This shit's massive, bro. What the fuck? This shit's like four servings. And you got some french fries too? <laughs> we were deciding on what film to watch, weren't we, Paige? Yeah. So I think we should watch The Naughty Professor because Paige has never watched that. Yeah, yes, that's definitely what you guys should watch. The Nutty Professor. That's exactly true, bro. Hashtag Eddie Murphy the GOAT. Come on now, what are we doing here? And it's meant to be. Well, it is funny. I don't think I'm. I don't Damn. Think I'm sure. The structural integrity of that tray is is gonna be 100. You know, I feel like you guys should probably put some put your mouth on these back here. Probably get a little bit more nutrition. I'm looking at some fruit back here, dude. You guys got fruit? Oh, I like the knives. The knives are pretty cool. I like the pots up here. I'd be scared though because there might be like tarantulas or some kind of like animal up here. I'd be scared of that.
Funny film. We've also got some garlic. Did I say shit? Hold up. I don't think I've watched it. No, not shit. Okay, it's backwards. So it looks like shit. S H I T. Whatever. I don't know. Funny film. We've also got some you garlic more? cheesy bread. Why? <laughs> Dude, your plate alone, like the fries is legitimately probably a thousand calories or more. Whatever the fuck this thing is probably another thousand and then you got this as well no let me stop the fries have to be at least a thousand that's a fact because she got an entire serving of fries at least this other girl got the serving size of like she got fries and something else in the same the same serving size as this so it's not as much right at least she's getting some protein there and then she's got this as well this has got to be at least 1500 calories whatever the fuck this thingy is over here 1500 calories and then she got garlic bread which garlic is cheesy bread and um, i only want one piece <laughs> One piece? That shit's big as fuck? What the fuck, dude? You got a whole medium slice of pizza right there. Um, thank that. you. Here is mine. That's what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? What are you fucking all this cholesterol, this greased up? What even is that shit? What happened here? What did the Indian guy do? He just made a mistake on this? It looks so good. Says who? Also got a nice coke. And a coke, coke. of course, yeah. Got the coconut chips. coke. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Donami? What was that? Mmm. You know what's nice, Paige? Yeah. <laughs> Some garlic bread, and I think we're going pumpkin picking tomorrow. Yeah. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna wake up too much tomorrow, dude. You gonna be bloated as shit waking up tomorrow after eating all this, dude. You fucking kidding me, dude? And you gonna wake up, even though you didn't drink any alcohol today? I know you gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, I'm just hung over. I'm gonna have to order some more Indian tonight. I'm gonna have to order the Indian to come over. That's just something. They kind of make my stomach gargle in a little bit. Uh, hi, everyone. So it is takeaway night. It is Halloween. So yeah, got people around. Oh, what you doing with that? Uh, uh, why do you have this in your hair? These scissors. Damn, man. I just, uh, I'm looking at these fucking, these garlic things again, dude. She can't stop herself, man. She can't stop her. This has got to be unsafe. What if you fuck up? What if you fuck up? I hate when people play with scissors as if it's like some kind of joke or game or something like that. If you fuck up, you're losing your hair at the bare minimum. And then uh, on the worst end, you're not, you're just dying. Is it here? You got, more, you got more takeout? How are you going to have takeout and then you're going to have takeout coming at the door? Dang, no. dude, you got the door on retainer? <laughs> Shut this door over in case they come in. Um, right, so I don't know who's everyone's is, but I know what I've got. I thought I was like, everyone, you know I'm it. doing a video, so Jesus. can I just grab mine quick? Damn. Oh, it's someone's um, delivery, KFC, I think. Somebody's delivery, bro. What are we doing with our lives? How many deliveries you gonna get? I'm looking at some hot food right here. They, this wasn't sufficient? This wasn't enough for you guys? Is this just for you? Who 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 got KFC? What are we doing? Why are you order? Who was outside? Like, is this guy just like permanently on retainer? Like, he just keeps shuffling the block? Is he the Uber Eats driver? He's just waiting outside your door because he knows you're gonna order that shit. Well, whatever, bro. Whatever, dude. The boys again. <gasps> I got Donami and chips. What is Donami? Like tonight, so I got Donami and chips. That's what everyone's over there. And then we've got two garlic breads because what do you mean everyone loves Stop garlic breads. So you know that ain't weed. Two slices of this. Oh. And I have a nice cold kind of cake. Of course, you guys. Leah's come. <laughs> oh, it's Halloween. Okay, it's not real. Garlic bread? I hope it's not. Some chips? Some donna meat? What is donna meat? Oh, what you We've come to a scary house okay. with Leah, Portia, Parker, and Paige. And it looks so scary. No, it doesn't. It's just neon lights. What are you talking about? Oh, it's so scary because the lights. You know what's scary is what's going to be happening to your stomach in a few fucking minutes, dude. You sitting in a car. That's risky, dude. Can you imagine body slamming all those calories and just sitting in the car and nothing happened? Did it just like... Do you ever watch those old TV shows where like a bomb drops and you hear like a... I bet it's like that. Like the food just kind of sits there and it hits the bottom of your stomach like a brick, you know? And it probably just sits there sufficiently for like hours. Um, I really wonder a lot of times with these people's dietary, like when they go and take a bowel movement, dude, I wonder if the, like, again, like if they got the, the Uber Eats dude on retainer, like he's just waiting at that KFC, like I know she gonna order, dude. I know she is, get the notification, except, right? I wonder if the, 
the the the, the plumber is just on retainer too. Like he's just sitting outside all day, you know, uh, sh sitting in a chair, getting the request. Like, yo, I need a plumber. Like, say no more. I'm outside. He comes in while you're sitting on the toilet. Hi guys. So it's my last night at my sister tonight before she's back. Um, and I've so you know I had to get a Mickey D's. I've been staying at hers, so I thought, why not just get a McDonald's delivered, save messing around when I'm cleaning. Man, the we kitchen. really hit a new level of obesity when we can get McDonald's ordered for us, dude. I remember when I grew up, you couldn't do this. Like you had to go to the store, you had to actually go into the restaurant, and you had to actually get, you had to buy the food physically. You now, now you just have people delivering your own shit. We we were we really reached a level of obesity to where we can't even be bothered to get our own food to contribute to our obesity. We gotta hire somebody else to get the food for our obesity, bro. That's crazy. We outsource an obesity now. Kitchen. So yeah. But I did say I was gonna try the other lot of the new menu. So I got the Mac crispy barbecue smokehouse. Um I'm looking forward to trying this. I wish I got this one first. I just got cheese and onions on it with the barbecue sauce. That's so at least 500 calories awesome. right there. Because like I say, I don't really like the lettuce from McDonald's. So nah, I got you can. Anything with greens, right? Fuck that. We don't fuck with the green shit. But um, I also got... Oh, you know what? I don't think they've put in. Oh. Yo, I'm looking at a fridge back here. You don't got shit in there? Is there just nothing in that? Why you even have the fridge if you're never going to open it? Guys, I ordered the toffee... The toffee apple donut and they haven't put it in uh, obviously got my chips don't worry you don't need it it's, it's a blessing in disguise don't don't hit up that uber eats or don't don't try to get them to re-deliver that it's cool the delivery driver he needed something extra on the side he saw that he saw the whole meal he's like damn this is for one person yeah all right bro she don't need the donut that's that's crazy bro i'm gonna body the donut for her i haven't eaten in 12 hours i'm a uber eats delivery guy i've been on retainer for like four hours here she don't need this. I'm a body slam the donut. She don't need it. It's a blessing in disguise. In disguise. You're good, Becky. You don't need it. Let me just double check. It's not there. No. I'm yeah, oh, boys no, man. No, it's a blessing. Here we go. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You don't need it. You didn't need that. What you think you was doing here, okay? This is already a stack. This is already a solid stack of grease that you're going to be slipping in your mouth. Oh man, look at that face, bro. She is this. She is upset. That food is like, yeah, man. You just go back here and get some of these Cheerios. Is that's probably way better, dude. They didn't even fill up your fries, dude. That's disrespectful. You know that delivery driver was slipping a couple of these in his mouth. <laughs> McDonald's didn't put it in. Um, let me just. Not a delivery driver, dude. Them delivery drivers be eating free sometimes. Double check, I got it. Yeah, one toffee apple donut. There. Oh wow, it's cool. Damn, oh, gutted. Things. Anyway, I got that. Yep. Um, I was going to try the new Look at the donut strat, that we but obviously they didn't put it in. Right, let's just quickly try this because I want to go and that eat it. That cheese is fermented. Mmm. Mmm. I don't even need to swallow that to know it's good. <laughs> Hold up now. You can't say those kind of words and not expect me to get bricked up. You can't say that now. It's by me get a little bit bricked up. First of all, you swallowing it is not where you get the, the taste sensation. You know that, right? Can we just stop for a second? The process of like putting it in your mouth and having the food like circulate in your mouth with your taste buds, that's where you get the flavoring. You don't get it from swallowing it. Man, this is how I know these people got problems, dude. They're not even eating the food for the sensation in their mouth. They're swallowing it. They're not even... Sh Man, get the fuck off mine. The chicken from McDonald's is really good. Nobody ever said that in their entire life. Are you gross? What are you doing right now? That's not true. It never. Nobody ever said that. The chicken from McDonald's is barely even chicken. Okay? That's like... Again, you're eating, you're eating foreskin. This is what it is. That is my tea. And I also got... A Coke. <sighs> I can't stop this woman, dude. Can't stop her. She got to get the coke every well, time. Well, having a great evening. Yep. Love you. Love you too. Love you too. She's nice. She's nice. Hi, everyone. On this rainy Friday night, tonight for tea is Indian from the Perth. Another Indian, bro. Can't stop with the Indian, dude. This interracial going crazy right now. Well, Olive, I love this place. Why do you have to get it for tea? What is that? When people from the UK, man, you guys have some weird terminologies that, so like when somebody says for tea tonight, I'm going to have 
dinner is this like dinner is that like lunch for you guys is that how that works i see i think it's pretty disrespectful to say for tea and then you you whipping out some indian shit so we can dish it out together show you what we got let's see um of course what is this punch the poppadoms and um, i have a poppadom a what how big they are love them let me just get a plate okay then we've some got drywall we've got some onions Three lots of onions. That's some onion. Why is it red? Why? Okay. Maybe it's chutney. Red. Salad with just onions and lettuce in. That you know, one time I was playing Call of Duty, like way back in the day, and I heard some of the most disrespectful shit I've ever heard in my life. So there was a kid. Back in the day, people just had their mics on. People were just like, there would be people in the background. Your mom would be cussing you out. She'd be threatening to beat you up with, a, with like a toaster or something like that. If you don't get off the fucking game, I'm going to come in here and beat your ass with this fucking toaster. Whatever, right? I remember one time somebody had their dog in the background. That dude was barking like crazy. And some dude out of nowhere, he was just like, yo, you better shut that fucking dog up before I hire a Chinese guy to eat it. And that dog got quiet real quick, almost kind of like he knew that, that he was being threatened, dude. That shit was the most disrespectful shit I've ever heard in a long time. That shit was like, I've referenced that sometimes on a think back, like, damn. That's crazy. Like, what is, even, what is even the comeback on that? You can't. There's no comeback. That's my Holly, howling. <laughs> Literally just got back with the food. He's probably telling um, you that you're doing sauce, something some wrong. Some mint sauce, some chili sauce. More chutneys Dude, as well. What are you doing right now? There's so much more onions. Don't act like you didn't order this shit. Like, what do you, you, you most definitely was like, yo, whatever you're going to put in the bag, quad, quadruple it. Let me get all Um, So many. I got a, let's just move these out of the way. Okay. Um, Playing Jenga with the condiments. I also, instead of a naan tonight, I got a chapati. Oh, um, dude, you know what? For people that speak that made English, that shit is not English. What do you? What is a chapati? What is that? Is that? You guys are just making words up. I love chapatis. So they're just like this. I got one of them. Just bread. Just that like there. This, this, this um, for my starter, I got. That's crazy as fuck to say. For my starter. Okay, dude. Like some fucking NFL draft. Garlic chicken. That's a starter, oh, huh? It looks so lovely. Look at that. One sec, guys. Yes. Um, got some onion bargies. Let me just show you these. Ooh, there we go. I'm okay. gonna pop one of them in my bowl. Okay. Here we go. Pop that there. I'm gonna put my garlic chicken here. Smells amazing, but is everyone excited for bonfire night on Sunday? Bro, you gotta listen. This is not you're not saying English, oh, man. Can I hear? Is everyone excited for bonfire night? What is bonfire night? What is that? You guys like get rid of your homeless people with fire? What is it? What the fuck are you saying right now, bro? You just coming up with words. Bonfire night. Sunday. Love bonfire the, night. Yeah, the night that you. And it'll be my three year TikTok bonfire. anniversary as well. Um, right, rice. So I went with pilaf rice. Okay, I really, really want to try the egg fried rice. Damn, bro, this rice. Um, what? One time, but yeah, I never really change it up. Um, but I would like to try it. You know, even though I know this woman is like having a good time and she's excited for the food or whatever, man. This is depressing. I mean, I'm watching this woman slowly but surely. Is she getting to the end, dude? This is insane. Like. And through the process, I have uh, a thousand cuts, you know, a thousand goodness cuts. Like, it's like um, anything is everything is OK until it's not OK. And you're doing too much at that point. This is too much. I mean, I'm looking at this one. How many times? How many times have you eaten out in your life? How many times? How many times do you think? I don't know. Like, let's say 200, 200, 300 times quadruple that this week for this woman. I can, How do you have this much content? Like, I get it. Maybe it's for your job. How much does TikTok pay people for this? I don't know. Do people pay her for this? Like, is this, I don't know, man. Maybe she's just documenting it. I don't understand. If you are going out to eat this much, I guess it's probably better to monetize it and like, I guess, put it on TikTok so people can look at it. Sure. But it's just really depressing to see people eating like this, man. And they think it's great or it's beautiful and it's amazing. Like, oh, I'm just eating so well. It's just so good. Man, you... It's not the best. It's not. It kind of hurts me a little bit. That, the fact that you just eat like this so consistently. I'm looking at Jenga blocks of condiments. Get all that like this. <sighs> then I got more. Let's see. 
Damn, that shit is big as fuck. What is that? Someone got a vindaloo. Let me just, yeah, this is mine. I got a chicken boot. What do you mean this is mine? That whole bag is yours. Why you act, man, dude, shut the Talking about some holder. Let me just make sure this is mine. Oh, yeah, there's only one bag. So, yeah, obviously it's mine. Obvious fucking Lee. Yeah, but I got added potatoes. No, I got chicken tikka boona with added potatoes. But that was from the other delivery. She got them mixed up a little bit. She got like four other deliveries today. Oh, guys. Look at that. What is that? Lovely. I'm just going to put it all in. Man, that Indian about to have just your stomach straight bubbling. In. Look at the chicken tikka pieces. You sure? Really big chunk. That looks like a it's fingernail. so good with potatoes. Definitely add potatoes to your curry. Right? Why are you out of breath? It's not that good. I don't care what anybody says. If you're sitting here hyperventilating over the food, it should not do that. Okay, what is the serving size for this bowl, by the way? Where'd you fucking buy this shit? This ginormous, big-ass fucking thick bowl with like four times the amount of food capacity that should be held in it? Pop that in. God damn. Sauce. Yeah, gotta get the lick the bowl. Get him. Put your mouth on it. And then let you me... got nobody in your life telling you you need to stop. This is unhealthy. Just got yeah. That is everything. And I nearly. Hope so. so there's in my tea. I'll show you a close up. It's not a tea. I'm gonna add some mint sauce over. Who's that potatoes guy? Potatoes and the onion barge. There we go. And I have this one as a snack. I will show you the close up now. As a Here snack. A close up, but look. Big at as that. fuck. The potatoes definitely make it. Damn, dude, it's so much fucking food. She even got the drywall over here, too. All this for one person? Bro, this is like four meals. You couldn't add, like, some vegetables in this shit? Nothing, dude? Better. Oh, damn, man. You gotta calm Hi, down a little bit. So tonight, I have got Indian takeaway. I'm Every gonna put day, my rice huh? out first. But how is everyone's weekend going? I... I went to a surprise 30th last night. It was really good. I'm sorry, dude. The, the, the words are not real. Like, when I hear this woman talk, I can't, it's like I have to keep having to go back. You you went to a what? Everyone's weekend going. I went to a surprise 30th last night. It was really good. A survive What? A fucking surprise what? 30th? What is a surprise 30th? Can somebody, bro, I need like a tra I need like somebody to be here that's gonna translate it for me, like a Rosetta Stone in human form, because this is not real words. What is a surprise 30th? How do you even, what is that? Can somebody let me know? Is that like a birthday party? How do you, what do you mean you surprise 30th? Is that like somebody that doesn't know when they're 30 and then they get surprised? Is it like they open their door and it's like a big 30? Like, ah, what is that? What is a surprise 30th? Is that not what she said? Okay, whatever, dude. I don't fucking know. Well, I hope everyone's having a good time. So, I've got some pilaf rice. I don't think I ever try any other rice, you know, from in, from the Indian. Does it, but someone who's said the that, Indian? Why are you saying it like that? From the Indian? From who is that? Is that a guy? Is that like one person from the Indian? Who is the Indian? A fried rice one is meant to be lovely. Lovely. Um, I also got... Star. I need to put my hair up in a minute. Shami kebab. Yo, that's crazy, dude. You gotta throw your hair back when you eat your food. That shit is serious. You know when you watch porn and the girl, she's about to just start swallowing some shit. So she put, do she do her hair like this, and then she starts right. If you gotta do that as you're eating your Indian, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of a little crazy. Now a lot of you ask what this actually tastes like, and I can't explain it. It's like. What the fuck is that? What is that, dude? This looks like the residue from a horse. Minced, minced meat, but it's just, it just tastes amazing. You Sometimes they smell it like a bit fishy, but they're not. First of all, dude, if you're telling me, is that not beef? And you're gonna eat something like that? Oh, it's an Indian, right? So they don't eat beef, right? Can you not cook beef as an Indian? Don't you think of that like, I don't Indians think that like beef is like their brother or something like that? Right? I remember talking to an Indian guy. He said that they would just let cows, like, just free roam sometimes because they thought that that was, like, their friend or something. Like, if you had a, an aunt or something like that and you were riding on your moped or your Vespa down the street of an Indian town, there'd be, like, a cow on the street. And he'd be fucking people up. Like, I saw, I saw, I see videos of this shit constantly. Cows just kind of walking through these Indian streets, not doing shit, but they're fucking with people. You know, they're mooing, they're fucking kicking people and shit, but they don't do anything about it because they're like, dude, that's my cousin. Like, don't talk shit about my cousin, first of all. But your fucking cousin just beat my child up. 
Like, yeah, but listen, dude. Like, he's a fucking, he's a cow. That's my dude. That's my dude. Don't fucking talk about my dude like that. Otherwise, you're going to be a cow, bitch. That's what, that's the way they do it over there in India. So, is, maybe this is some fish. I don't know. I If my fish turned out to be brown like that, I don't know. It kind of seemed a little bit minced fish. But it's just, it just tastes amazing. Sometimes they smell like... Sometimes I feel like these people justify these things with the worst weight. Like, oh, it just tastes so good in my mouth. Therefore, I got to body that shit. There's plenty of things that taste good in my mouth. But I'm not going to be throwing that shit back. Bit fishy, but they're not... Not fishy, if you get me. No. Um, oh, what the fuck you mean? It's a bit fishy, but it's not fishy. Oh, she might mean like it's fishy in the sense of like it's suspect. Okay. Yeah, all right. Dude, that's the best. Definitely what you want to hear. And no matter how you want to justify this, it's a bit fishy in the sense of like it's suspect or it's a bit fishy, but not fishy. That's also not good if it's not fish. So good. And then for, I changed my curry last time. Why and she is like spawning food. Like the fact that she keeps coming out of nowhere with more food. Like I think this is it. And then she brings more in. Didn't regret it, but I wish I got Tika. So went back to my roots. And I got chicken, tikka, masala. Look how red it is. I love it from here. It's so red. This is from the purple olive. It's so it red. Get an apple. Like, if you want red, get an apple. Why do you, like, don't... It's my favorite. Put that all on. And then... More? I got one sec. And guys, I got a parata. Now, oh. I usually get a naan, but a I had this... what? A naan? Bro, you, you're just making words up, dude. Okay, um, and oh, I love it. So I've got a parata. And then I've got... You mean and then? My chutney, which is oh. mint sauce. Oh, you keep saying and then. Kebab. And a papadam as well. Let me just get it all and I'll show you a close-up. So here it is. Okay. It looks amazing. I've got my papadam and my parata. Bro. What the fuck is this? Where did this come from? Where you get that from? How you just pulling food out of nothing? You just spawning this shit in? Like you're fucking, like you're Daffy Duck or you're like Bugs Bunny just pulling out mallets and shit? What are we doing here? Why? This does no, not, that did not look like food. Don't talk to me. Just got it all and I'll show you a close up. Don't talk so. to me. What is that? What is coded on this? Who, is that the Indian? This is the Indian, huh? Not not presentable. Here not presentable it is. at all. It looks amazing. No, it I've got doesn't. my papadam and my parafa. Oh. Now I'm gonna go and talk in. Oh. Of course it wouldn't be a special occasion Damn. without getting some sort of takeaway, so we've got Costco. So in Costco. here we have got a pepperoni. That shit is greased the fuck up, dude. What are you guys playing frisbee with this shit? What happened to it? What why does it look like that? It's like all sloppy and throw. Okay. Hey, look how big that is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you gotta calm down. First of all, dude, you're gonna have to take me out first a little bit if you're gonna compliment me like that. Buy me an MK and then you could tell me how big it is. In this one, we've got the garlic. What the fuck is that? Would they forget the, the sauce? Damn, that shit is grease, dude. Danny DeVito's armpits is greased up, dude. The camera itself can't even focus in on this. The camera is struggling right now. Wait, bread, which is also amazing. You ordered cheese, garlic, and bread? Man, you you should feel disappointed in yourself. Like, how, how much money you got where you could just do this shit? Oh, man. We have dude. another pizza. Damn, another one? Where you get that one? What, you just go into the fucking Costco and just, like, throw it at whatever is back there? I want it. Over there. We've got hot Shut dogs on everyone. Hot dogs? Hot dogs? How many is that? Five? Damn, bro. I was in the front room celebrating my mom and dad's anniversary. Shut up. It don't... I don't give a fuck who, whose birthday you're celebrating. Shut up, dude. Shut up. And um, some Pepsi Max. Oh. Right, so I'm going to have So I got pizza. one box. Yeah. Oh, God, you did it. <laughs> so you got all these family members around you and they're seeing what you're doing and they're just not nobody's saying nothing like nobody's saying anything at all they're just like okay with that they're just seeing you body slamming pizzas man and indians and all this other stuff you're, you're body and indians on the daily and you're over here like this is just a normal thing for you and then you're just like nobody's saying like you oh, know becky you did just eat an Indian last night, and you had an Indian a night before that, and then, you know, you had the other thing that you had that Chinese, and then you had the black, and now you're having uh, some Italian. Now, what's up with that? You know, it's not even tea. Not even tea right now. 
Maybe you should chill back a little bit. You kind of seem like you're having a little bit too much Indian. You want a pizza first? A little bit, a little bit I too have much. I'll slice them out, looks nice. Well, you have to wait because Nan and Grandy first. Right, that, Mom, that one's you have to wait. She was like, Yeah, I'll take this. Hold up now. You gotta wait, but then she go for the slice. Look at that. Ready for it? Well, you have to wait because Nan and Grandy first. Right, that, Mom, that one's gonna eat. Yeah, right, I'm not waiting. I'm not fucking waiting. Don't fucking tell me to wait. First of all, I eat what the fuck I wanna eat. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll take this piece of pizza. Yeah. Let me get, get the a couple more boxes. Garlic yeah, bread. A hot dog. Cool. Oh my god. Harry gosh. Potter role play. LARPing of Harry Potter. Let's and love like. We just got a hot dog. I just kind of hope everybody in, in the UK dresses like that. And I need some ketchup too. Oh my gosh, guys. I want like UK dudes to dress up in suits, you know? Like that dude Michael Shelby or whoever that dude is from Peaky Blinders. I want everybody. And I want, like, I, I kind of imagined for a long time that in the UK, you know how like here in America people got like iPhones and shit? I kind of always thought like in the UK you guys would just pull out like rotary phones, like big rotary phones and just like... Like, I just hold, I just, and then just pick it up, like, hey, oi, oi, what the fuck, mate? You told me you were coming to the pub. You, you fucking cunt. That's what I expect. But I obviously know you guys have other stuff, you know? I mean, you guys got stuff, right? Like, stabbings and stuff like that. I'll show it you all now. I have got a garlic dip. A garlic Say what? cheese. So here is mine. Oh, gross. Looks yummy. Damn, dude. Damn, that shit big as fuck. That shit is an illusion. That shit was with. How big is this Jeez. plate? So, it didn't look that big when I saw it here. But then that shit was bigger than your whole head. Here is mine. That shit is slopped as fuck, dude. How is 40% of all the pepperoni on one side? This over here. Mine looks yeah. yummy. Yeah. Look how fucking big this slice is, dude. God damn, what you get the BBC's pizza? How big is this shit? <laughs> Bloody hell, Rachel, we've just had Costco. Why are you getting the cakes? <laughs> yeah, you know it, dude. That's, oh, man, dude. Hey, <laughs> Oh. I don't eat cake. Nice, really. Not judging or anything. That was just, uh, um, no, I won't have one, thanks. I'm judging, dude. It's so, okay, if it's not enough. What the fuck is that? A brick of cheese? <laughs> we've got... <laughs> Willows and uh, we got we gotta stop, dude. I'm not, look. We can make a part two to this or something, man. I, I can't look at that. That that that, that 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 woman's on some different shit. That I'm mean, I'm really trying to like the amount of obesity I just saw is serious. It's serious. I can't believe somebody is just casually body washing all those calories and getting bigger and bigger and bigger day in day out. And nobody's saying nothing about it. You got all these family members and they just don't want to say shit. I mean, you got a dude right here wearing a schoolboy Q hat. He ain't saying shit. You know, is it your dad? You know, where the family values go? Where the family, like, at some point, somebody would call you out on that, right? But nobody's saying nothing. Like, people have become too soft, dude. And I, I don't mean that in the right way. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, people are coming soft, obviously. But anyway, I mean, what well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're beautiful, by the way. I smell you up every single day. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. And I do, I do, I do 100% appreciate it tremendously. It helps me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate it. I have memberships. If you want to be a member of my channel, you can. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. I want to say thank you to all the people that are members though. You are all amazing people. And I appreciate you tremendously. All of you, if you could, if you could all just line up against the wall and I'll just run my tongue across all of your eyebrows, I would do it 100% to lubricate, to properly lubricate the eyebrows. And you know, that my tongue is moist, 100% moist. I drink water all the time, and my mouth is wet. Anyway, but that's not the only thing I got that's wet. If you, and I also wanna thank everybody that subscribes. You're, you guys are all amazing as well. Everybody's amazing, everybody. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in straw. Straws are cool, and I like straws. And I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to not use a straw when I have a, the option to use a straw. I used to think I was so cool when I went out to eat. And they gave me a straw. And I looked at the waiter. And I just took a sip of the glass. I looked up at her. And I said, like, yeah, you gave me the straw. <laughs> bitch. I would say that. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. But straws are good. I have one in front of me. Look at it. I put the inside of the straw. Inside the straw. Oh, yeah, I cut myself the other day. I was cutting onions. And then I cut myself. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's the, if I'm being honest, I'm, 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 I'm kind of being a bitch. But if I have, have band-aids, I'm going to wear it. So 
I'm going to wear it. I'm not a bitch though. But anyway, um, you're beautiful. You're amazing. You're fantastic. Uh, if you were in the grocery store, I would not recommend ever for you to go down the frozen food section because if you did, if you went down the frozen food section, you would melt all of the stuff because you are way too hot for the grocery store. We need to talk about how juiced up you are, how delicioso you are, the elegance, the beauty, the amazingness of you. I, it cannot be more emphasized. You're like an outlet of divinity. If the gods themselves were still on earth, you would be above them. Not like height wise, but I mean like in terms of the divinity that you present off yourself. And that's only because of the severe amount of water that you've been liquidating yourself with every day, day in, day out with your mouth. And that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I really care for it. And I think that you are beautiful. So beautiful all the time. Beautiful. Oh, like zoink scoops. I'll get that in the video here. If you want to check out my social media and my second channel, you can. It's going to be all linked in the description for this video. And it's also going to be linked in the about section of my channel. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, it's just my Instagram and my Twitter and my second channel and my Discord server. If you want to join any of that stuff, you can. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.